A monster walks among us with a clipboard and instruments of torment and oppression. This monster has been walking for a long, long time. Planning for a long time. This monster works for the concentrated evil of the departing age. This monster wants war, mass murder, gulags and concentration camps. This monster wants unending screams, uninterrupted by rights and protections. This monster has all of its rights of performance and practice guaranteed by laws brought into being by other monsters employed or compromised by it and who came into positions of power because too many people were dreaming about their own confinements that came disguised as liberty and freedom to acquire and possess what they did not have and believed they needed and that their lives would not be complete without. Even as they pursued these things, they lost everything of real value, which they possessed along the way, until they had neither. We know who this monster is. This monster screams for blood in the headlines of the world, in the media controlled by this monster. This monster wants to attack and destroy nations and peoples who have not made war on others in centuries, and those who did, did it with the assistance and at the urging of this monster. Agents of this monster are traveling from country to country at this very moment, breathing down the necks of other monsters until they have achieved what they seek. They want to open the gates of hell just to see what happens and to enjoy the show. There will be no peace, no symmetry and no prosperity while this monster and his crew are allowed to move among us. We have always been at war with the same enemy, and this enemy's chief weapons are our ignorance and our appetites. We are seduced, but we go willing enough. 